Hello everybody, I wanted to show you guys a quick fix for patch 7 in Baldur's Gate um, and the performance with uh, thermal throttling. Um, it's a huge issue for Max since patch 7 was released. Um, you can see my frame graph right here, I'm playing at 1440p. Um, and I mean, the frame graph is just all over the place. Um, the fans actually aren't kicking on like they're supposed to, which causes thermal throttling at a much, <coughs> excuse me, at a much lower heat than it should. And it's not kicking the fans on like it should. Uh, these are my settings, so 16 by 10, 1440p. Uh, balanced FSR1, kind of a mix of high to low, uh, or high to medium mostly, um, TAA, sharpness, crowds on, a couple things off down there, um, but as you can see it just is so, it's a stuttery mess after a few minutes of playing. It starts off really smooth, like you can see moving around how stuttery it is, um, almost unplayable for in my opinion i know it's first world problems but like i can't stand this type of stuttering it's ridiculous um so i have a fix for that right yeah, we're dropping down to 40 30 fps um on a t this is the m4 pro 24 gpu 24 gigs of ram should be able to handle this no issue so what we're gonna do is go out of Baldur's gate while it's open we're gonna open up our terminal and I have a couple commands over here and I'll put them in the description below if you guys want to add them uh, because you do have to enter these commands every time you want to play the game. Uh, I There are ways where you can make like a, I can't remember what it's called, like a, a shortcut essentially. So when you start the game, it should do this for you. Um, I just have it saved. Um, so that whenever I play it, I'll just go in and put these in if I want to. So the first one up here is just that HUD that shows our FPS in the top right corner. And the second one down here is the actual uh, Renis code that we're going to run. So we're going to make Baldur's Gate 3 our priority while it's running. Um, you can see right here that I just put Baldur's Gate 3 PID. That is because it changes, and we can find out what the PID is by opening Activity Monitor, going over here, and seeing Baldur's Gate, and mine is 8622 for this particular instance. So I'm gonna, I already have the HUD in um, playing the game, so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna copy this, click over here, paste it. I'm gonna get rid of my placeholder Baldur's Gate 3 PID and plug in the one that I know it is, which is 8622. So after doing this, it will ask for your password, which is just the password for your MacBook, um, because you are setting this task as priority now. Um, when we quit out of the game, it is going to automatically um, remove that and it, it won't be running Baldur's Gate in priority because it's not open. So that is why we have to plug it in every time. So going back into the game, you can see in a few seconds, look at how much better that frame graph is, right? So we get in the game and the stuttering is gone. So this in my opinion is the best fix um i'll run around for a little bit and show you guys um because i know we were just on you know the home screen for a second um but in terms of performance it is night and day just i mean little to no stuttering i'm in i'm around 80 to 90 fps almost the entire time i'm playing and in the city um I'll run around and kind of just show you guys the performance. This is how the game should run. Um, it's unfortunate that Larian has not been porting for the Mac um, or looking into issues with the Mac like it should, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, just, I mean, I showed you before if you want to go back in the video and look at how bad the stuttering was, um, but this is so much more smooth move the camera freely. I actually hear my fans kick on. Uh, the frame graph is 
nice and smooth for the most part. Little choppiness here and there, but then again, the game is still unoptimized for Mac now, so it is native, but the patches have been breaking things. So, if you guys have any questions, want to see more gameplay, um, I guess I can I can even go somewhere else. Um, uh, Rivington, how about that? Another kind of heavy Act 3-ish area. <clears throat> and I forgot to mention, but if you just take the command that I put in um, in the description. We are setting it, the priority to negative 20. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about that. Like I said, I kind of found a Reddit thread explaining it and um, was able to go on some Mac forums to figure out how to put the command in. And, um, this is the one that's worked for me. And, um, I mean, as you can see, no more stuttering thing. The Lord was very upset. He was really excited when I got this Mac to be able to play it on the go. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, want to see more gameplay, see any different games, let me know. I do have crossover, which can install some games. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys have been having issues with stuttering, especially later in the game, um, try this out. Um, it's, to me, just makes the game how it should be. It's perfectly playable now. I can play mess with the settings. I've run it at max resolution. I'm not switching resolutions right now because I'm using QuickTime Player and it stops the recording. Um, but you can play 4K and still be a, even above 60 frames a second. So, it's really, really nice. But if you guys have any other questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe if it helped you out. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.